Welcome to the Peerless YouTube channel. Today is the second video in our Easter series, and we will be doing a tutorial on how to paint the Beatrix Potter's um, Peter Rabbit. So we're doing it from her illustrations, and I think they're so cute. We did them for the tea party that my mom and I set up for True, and everything turned out so cute, and we even had a little Peter Rabbit bunny, and we read stories from her book, and it was just so special. Um, yeah, so great memories. Um, we wanted to make sure we gave you guys enough time before Easter if you would like to do these as decorations for your home or gifts and with your kiddos. So I hope you enjoy. For your supplies, you will be needing peerless watercolors, blown white eggs, pencil, extra tiny paintbrush, scissors, and double-sided tape. And for this class, we are going to be using an extra tiny brush, paintbrush, instead of the water reservoir brushes. So it's very helpful to have a paint dish or palette. I am using my ceramic watercolor dish um, to mix paints and have them available and ready, just since we're not using the water reservoir brush that you can kind of mix as you're going. Um, that kind of makes it a lot more helpful of having them all, all right there. So you you would definitely be able to use your water reservoir brush and the paint palette. Um, that just wasn't small enough for as much detail as I wanted to get. So keep that in mind. Once we're ready to start our sketch on our eggs, I'm using one of my little gummy erasers just to kind of keep it in place. And if you want to pause the video and look at the actual Peter Rabbit and just kind of trace or not trace, but you know, do a, a, a loose outline of him or follow along with me, just kind of going through the ears and the face and getting just a very basic outline. And it's a relatively easy um, outline, so there's nothing too, you know, too crazy about it. Uh, I would say the cheeks are bit, a little bit puffier than you would think. They look way cuter when they're a little bit puffier. So, But other than that, just kind of get a nice little rough draft of where you want all of your places and colors and things to be. The next one is two carrots and really simple to about two different sizes drop, like a teardrop shape upside down and then some leafy green kind of tops. Right, so I got the first two done and I'm not sure what happened to my third video of my profile bunny, but then I smashed it under my, my recording device. So I had to redo them. So if you want to pause here and just kind of do that outline of the, so like the, the side profile of the Peter Rabbit, that's the third one we are going to be doing. And just getting our paints ready onto our paint palette. I'm going to try to mix the paints that I, I got pretty close paints already, so you don't have to mix them if you don't want to. Um, but I wanted to get as close to the original illustrations as I could. So I used the Larkspur blue and the grass green and I'm mixing it just a little bit to kind of give it just a hint of a tealish, but still, still mostly blue. Actually kind of looks like the Alice blue too, once it's already mixed and getting some greens and yeah, just kind of mixing out some of my palette to be able to use my to super, super tiny detailed brush on there. So I know I'm going to be doing a lighter, a light wash first and then just doing a really gentle kind of like almost stipple effect with the, with the second coat. So I'm doing the lighter browns and then the darker browns next to each other and then I wanna make more of a natural green or an olive green. So I kind of mix those out and I definitely wanted the oranges to be more of that kind of burnt orange too. So I was just kind of getting all of my, my colors ready and then laying down my first wash. So I'm doing the blue first and then on all of the fabric areas of both of the Peter Rabbit eggs. And the reason why I'm doing three eggs is because you guys know me. I don't like for, to watch paint dry. So I'd rather be working on something and have you guys do three paintings at the same time than try to do just one and be sitting there doing nothing for five minutes while the other one dries when you could be using that time to make a whole nother painting. So pretty simple, just putting down the blue on all of the areas for the first wash. And then we will do the first wash of the lightest brown that you have, or, well, yeah, no, just kidding. The lightest wash of the orange, and then the lightest brown. 
and there's some areas on the Peter Rabbit that have a little bit lighter. Just try to avoid them a little bit and um, kind of, you can do like a white highlight after it too, but I feel like it doesn't look as good as it does on watercolor paper because it's more, I mean, it's because it's more porous. I don't know, it's just, the texture is different. So the, the white highlights kind of sit on top of the watercolors and they don't look as, um, yeah, they don't look as soft as they do on watercolor paper. So try to avoid having to do too much of the white and leave the areas that you want a little bit lighter just, you know, from the beginning. So, yeah. So for the second coat, we are going to be using the little bit darker brown and doing soft kind of line strokes and filling in areas and adding shadow and outlining the eyes and kind of giving that look of the fur. Um, don't go too crazy with this because you want that layer to dry before you do the next layer. And if you do the lines too much together, you're just going to be filling in the whole area with the dark brown again. So you want to give them enough space that they have their own individual lines, trying to avoid the light areas and kind of just giving it that shape again. So, and we, I do use my artist pen in the end to outline and really get that, that, um, illustrated look. And I think it turned out really, really cool. So you don't have to go too crazy with this. I feel I still feel like they're going to look really cute either way. Um, but main thing, I feel like the fur, especially just keeping those lines a little bit more separated and not, you know, filling in that whole section with paint again. But yeah. I'm sorry about the video placement on this one. It definitely, yeah, kind of off screen for a minute, but it does go back so you can see it. But. Sorry about that. All right, so we've done the first and second coats for the fur, so now we are going to do the second coat of the blue. Uh, using the same blue, just the second coat is just enough to give it that little bit of shadow and folds of the fabric. And just kind of looking at my pictures and kind of outlining the arms on the rabbit and the jacket cuff and then bringing it down. So pretty simple. All right, so we're going to be finishing up our carrots, just adding a second and third layer of the orange and the green, giving it a little bit more shape and roundness and kind of giving the, the tops, the green tops, kind of the back ones gets another wash and then the front ones get outlined. And last little details onto my Peter Rabbits. I do go over all of the outlining with the artist pen and just to give it that really illustrated nice sharp edge and kind of that pen outlining and then with a liquid um white ink i go through and kind of i do a, a highlight so some of those areas that i was trying to keep a little bit lighter i did do a little too much so i just kind of pop some of those lighter colors back in there and make a little couple brush strokes with it and they're basically done i think they're super cute um I will definitely probably end up drawing and doing the Peter Rabbits in my watercolor journal as well, just because, you know, I already crushed two of my eggs. I'm sure these will get crushed eventually. And yeah, you can see here too, my liquid, my liquid highlighter kind of pen and it's how it's kind of sitting on top of the egg. I don't think it looks as, as neat and tidy as it usually does when it's on paper. So I'm not sure why exactly, because the watercolor actually worked 
amazing on the eggs better than I would have expected to so but yeah just kind of adding some of those white areas and those highlights back in and there you go they were so cute we had such a great tea party they're gonna be wonderful decorations and yeah it just turned out so cute and yeah I hope you enjoyed Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and you make wonderful memories with your kids and friends or whoever you're painting with. And yeah, make sure to like and subscribe and share with your friends and we will see you next time.